do you think it's down to luck or should it be um you know sort of because everybody should be perfect you know perfection is one thing you know having a bit of luck is another yeah there's a, i mean there's a little bit, a bit of luck involved in everything as they track through good move there they managed to get an overlap there oh there's brock james he's got cut loose has he got support he's on his own he's isolated but there's the clam on pack just arriving at the right time morgan para gets the ball out and they're inching towards the uh the try line that was jamie cudmore the uh the canadian the canna second row now what can they do with this can they get themselves over the try line malak is there and surely that's going to be a try where's the referee there's mr Beros. he awards it we talked about him coming in and there it is he's made an impact already and the claremont supporters are very happy indeed but not as much as van cotter and the boys in yellow and blue they've already well we're 30 seconds away from the final whistle oh, he's going to be happy for oh, us, those guys as players he is look it's become a quite an emotional affair isn't it and who could blame him for reacting in that way look at this this is wonderful play and surely the whistle is going to get blown by mr Bellos, the referee that we're, we're think that, do they think that's good to try no but the, finally he's had to blow the whistle <laughs> mr Bellos. it was quite premature but uh Claremont are the French champions 2009-2010. They have won this match fair and square in their 11th final. They've actually won the Brennus. This is stunning. And, well, I can tell you that this is going to be a big, big party. The fans are going crazy. The, the players, it's all so emotional. There's going to be a lot of tears out there. You know, being shed this evening. They just can't believe it, can they? The, the, the defeat in the Heineken Cup means nothing to them now because they finally got their hands on what was the Holy Grail for them. We're not quite perfect on the year, but we did well on once. <laughs> there you have it. They're the champions, 2009-2010. The Brenner Shield lifted by Aurelien Rougerie, who really represents this uh, Claremont side. It's a wonderful moment. It's, it's taken 11 attempts, and there's gold, well, ticker tape.